Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome everyone to our Health Transformation webinar series. I'm your host, Eileen. Today, we are going to talking about importance of a well-balanced diet for your immune system. You might wonder, why is well-balanced diet important for your immune system, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic? Our presenter today, Ms. Siti Sarah from Columbia Asia Hospital Starbuck, will be sharing with us how can you obtain a healthy diet for keeping your body in a good condition? Miss Siti Sarah holds a Bachelor in Dietetics in University Kabangsaan, Malaysia. She provides medical nutrition therapy and education to patients with various dietary-related medical conditions. She also guides in the preparations and delivery of patient meal sequences in Columbia Asia Hospital, Staba. Now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to Miss Siti Sarah. And good evening to all. Okay, I'm uh, Siti Sarah, uh, the teacher from uh, Columbia Asia Hospital Stapa. Today, I would like to present to you the importance of a well-balanced diet for your immune system. Okay, shall we start? Okay. First is how to boost your immune system. There are many ways to boost uh, the immune system. Firstly, is uh, the well-balanced uh, diet. Secondly, is uh, drink water regularly and then set exercise and then don't uh, have a get enough uh, sleep and then don't stress. Okay, uh, and then other than this, we can uh, avoid uh, alcohol or cigarette. That's how to boost the immune system. So, shall we start with the well balanced diet? Okay, firstly is what is food, okay? Food is uh, any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism, okay? It is usually plant or animal origin and contains essential nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, okay? The substance is ingested by an organism and assimilated by the organism cells to provide energy, maintain life, or stimulate growth. Okay, what is the balance or healthy diet? Okay, a balanced diet gives a body the nutrient it needs to function correctly. It is a way of ensuring we eat all the required nutrients for our body to function properly. Eating balanced diet is key. Is in maintaining good health and keeping a body in optimum conditions. Okay. A balanced diet doesn't cut off, cut out food group. It consists of a wide variety of foods to support the body and keep it energized, motivated, and healthy. A well-balanced diet provides all the energy we need to keep active throughout the day, and then the nutrient we need for growth and repair, helping to stay strong and healthy and help to prevent diet-related illness such as uh, some cancers. Okay, certain dietary patterns may better prepare the body for microbial attacks and excess inflammations. Good nutrition can reduce the likelihood of developing other health problems such as uh, heart disease, uh, diabetes and Cancers. Okay, let's see. There are seven essential factors for a balanced diet. Okay, we have my, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients uh, consist of carbohydrate, protein, and fats. And then the micronutrients is fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and plus water. Okay, let's see. What is carbohydrates? Okay, carbohydrates are an uh, ideal sources of energy for the body. This is because they can convert it more readily into glucose form of sugar. Okay. There are two types of carbohydrates. We call it complex sugar or carbohydrates. And then the second one is a simple sugar or simple carbohydrates. Okay. Complex carbohydrate is starch based carbohydrate keep keeps us uh, fuller for longer and give the body longer lasting energies. Okay, or we call it complex carbohydrates are polysaccharides. 
for the simple carbohydrate okay it uh, sugar based carbohydrate give us a short burst of high energy that spikes our blood sugar making the body crave more and more sugar okay it can be um, in terms of uh, monosaccharides and disaccharides let's see we go to car complex carbohydrate complex carbohydrate consists of first is whole grain okay what is whole grain okay whole grain can uh, may help you control your body weight and blood sugar okay it's a better choice instead of lower fiber refined grains and then uh, whole grain it should make up at least half of your daily grain choices this one is uh, the whole grain the whole grain we have endosperm germ and bran Okay, for the endosperm, it contains uh, protein, complex carbohydrates, which is uh, starch. We have iron, a few of uh, B vitamins, and a little fiber. Okay, this one, uh, endosperm, is present in white flour. For the germs, it contains vitamin E, and then a greater share of uh, B vitamins. It has uh, fiber, iron, and other minerals. Okay, and then we have bread contain most of the fiber b uh, b vitamins and proteins and others minerals okay uh, okay for the whole grain the food sources is usually for the whole wheat product such as uh, whole wheat uh, biscuits uh, bread and then pasta okay and then also oats also the sources of whole grain and then the brown rice Okay, the difference between brown rice and white rice, this one, we are for the brown rice, they have uh, the whole grain has uh, endosperm, we have germ, and we have bread, bran. But the white flour, white rice, the germ and the bran one is uh, removed from the rice. Okay. And then the number two for the complex carbohydrate, okay, sorry. Uh, this one is also uh, other popular, the healthy and healthy whole grains. Okay, we have amaranth, chia seed, kamut, sorghum, barley, but wheat. Okay, usually we, for Malaysian, we eat the rice. Okay. For the second one, for the complex carbohydrates, is starchy vegetables. Okay, starchy vegetables uh, is a great source of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Okay. Uh, it has a higher calories than non-starchy vegetables and it is best to eat brightly and in moderation. The food sources of the starchy vegetables are such as uh, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, all sorts of uh, potatoes, corn, pumpkin and butternut squash. Okay. It also, um, carrot also is uh, fall under starchy vegetables. Okay. For the diabetes patient, they need to control this type of vegetables because it has uh, carbohydrates that will increase the blood glucose if um, they move. Okay. The number three is legumes. Okay. The legume is uh, consists of plants that produce a pot of uh, wheat seeds and inside. Okay. The term legume is used to describe the seeds of the plants. Okay. Legumes are highly nutritious packing plenty of protein and fiber and it is also cheap and wide, widely available. Okay, beans and the juice uh, is contains antioxidants that help prevent cell damage and fight disease and aging. They also provide fiber, protein, carbs, B, vitamins, iron, copper and zinc. Okay, they are naturally low in fiber and cholesterol free. Okay, for example, for legume is uh, like chickpeas, lentils, and peas. Okay, like chickpeas uh, is a great source of uh, fiber and folate. And it, it can help reduce blood sugar and decrease uh, blood cholesterol and improve gut health. Okay. okay, the second one is protein. Okay. Protein is one of the three macronutrients which are nutrient the body needs in larger amounts. Okay. 
the first one is uh, carbohydrate, the second one is protein. Okay, protein is made up of a long chain of amino acids. There are 20 amino acids. The specific order of amino acid determines the structure and function of each protein. There are nine essential amino acids that the body does not synthesize, so they can must, must come from the diet. Okay. Protein may be either complete or incomplete. Okay. The complete proteins uh, usually contain all the essential amino acids. The animal products is a, a complete protein. Incomplete proteins are the protein that do not contain all essential amino acids. Okay, most uh, plant foods are incomplete proteins, including beans, nuts, and grains. Okay, how we want to complete the proteins? Okay, people can combine incomplete protein sources to create a meal that provides all essential amino acids. For example, include the rice and beans or peanut butters on the whole wheat bread. Okay. Protein is present in every body cells, cell and an adequate protein intake is important for keeping the muscles, uh, bones and tissue healthy. Okay. Uh, protein also plays a role in many bodily processes including blood clotting, Fluid balance, immune system response, fusion, hormones, and enzymes. Okay. The sources of protein. Okay. For the animal one, we call it uh, HBV or high biological value that we call the complete protein. And animal sources such as poultry, um, red meat, beef, then a fish. Okay. For the LBV, low biological value, is uh, in plant sources. Okay. For example, nuts, legumes, uh, vegetables. Okay. The number three for macronutrient is uh, fat. Okay. Fats are type of a nutrient that get from the diet. Okay. It's, it is essential to eat some fat, though it is uh, also harmful to eat too much. Okay. The fat we eat gives our body energy that it needs to work properly. Okay. During exercise, our body uses calories from carbohydrate we have eaten. But after 20 minutes, exercise depends partially on calories from fat to keep we going. Okay. They have two types of fat. Uh, we call it saturated fat and then uh, unsaturated fat. Okay. Actually, uh, fat also provide the body with fatty acid that are essential for various metabolic processes, such as functioning of nerve cell and brain, functioning of hormone to regulate body processes, and then uh, fat also play a role in regulating immune functions. Okay, for example, we have uh, omega three fatty acids. Okay, this one, uh, this um, fatty acid, it can be found in deep deep sea fish such as uh, salmon and sardine okay it also found in several nuts and seeds such as walnut and or flat seeds okay and also we can uh, buy some food that fortified with omega-3 such as uh, milk or egg okay and then uh, for the types of uh, fats we have saturated fat that it can raise LDL cholesterol level. LDL cholesterol level, we call it bad cholesterol. Because uh, LDL cholesterol will put you at risk for heart attack, stroke, and other major health problems. Okay? We should avoid or limit foods that are high in saturated fat. What is the sources of food of uh, high in saturated fat? For example, we have uh, animal products such as uh, butter, cheese, whole meal, ice cream, cream and fatty mix. Okay. For, for the vegetables oils, uh, such as uh, coconut, palm and palm kernel oil, also contain saturated fat because uh, this oil are solid at uh, room temperature. Okay. Uh, and then uh, a diet in high saturated fat can increase 
close cholesterol build up in your arteries. That means it's uh, in the blood vessels. Okay, cholesterol is a soft, waxy substance that can cause clot or block block the arteries. Okay, the second one is unsaturated fat. These unsaturated fat are typically liquid at room temperature. They differ from uh, saturated fat in that their chemical structure contain one or more double bonds. Okay, they have two types of unsaturated fat. We call it monounsaturated fat or MUFA. It contains only one double bond in the structure. MUFA are typically liquid at the room temperature and the sources is, uh, sources is uh, for example, is canola oil, oil or olive oil. The second one is polyunsaturated fat or we call it PUFA. It contains two or more double bonds in their structure. Okay, they are liquid at room temperature. And then the food sources is safflower oil, sunflower oil, and corn oil. Okay. Okay. The next is uh, fiber. Fiber is the indestructible parts of plant foods such as vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, and legumes. It is type of carbohydrates uh, that help keep digestive system healthy. Okay, why fiber is important? Okay, fiber can support your immune health and digestion by encouraging regular bowel movement and providing the food for the good bacteria in gut in your gut to feed feed off. Even the bacteria in our bodies need fluid to survive and the fiber in our daily is what provide that food okay we have uh in our guts we have the good bacteria okay the good bacteria food is known as prebiotic which can be found in certain types of fiber rich food okay fiber rich food uh the example one like uh, garlic onion and banana okay we can promote better digestive health immune health by feeling the good gut bacteria with the fiber rich food okay and then uh, we also have two types of uh, fiber which is soluble fiber soluble fiber is a type of fiber that attracts water and form a gel this gel causes a slowing of the digestion process which can benefit you for weight loss okay food high in soluble fiber include oats, legume, edible plant skins, and nuts. Okay. The second one is uh, insoluble fiber. This one is type of fiber that repels water. Okay. Insoluble fiber in foods such as veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds with bran and whole grain foods. For example, whole wheat, pasta, and brown rice. Okay. Its uh, benefit is to provide bulk to stool and aid in the movement throughout the digestive tract. Okay. Most diets have a combination of soluble and insoluble fiber with 75% coming from insoluble fiber and 35% coming from soluble fiber. Okay. Okay. We have uh, vitamins. Okay. What, what is uh, vitamins? Vitamins are substances that are needed for normal cell function, growth, and development. Okay, each vitamin uh, plays an important role in the body. If uh, we don't have, uh, don't get enough of certain vitamins, we may become deficient. Okay, vitamins deficiency can cause health problem and may increase the risk of heart disease, cancer, or osteoporosis. Okay. Vitamins and minerals are vital for energy production, growth, brain, brain uh, development, and many other essential body functions. It also plays important roles in supporting the immune system. Okay. Deficiency or low levels of um, vitamins or minerals can negatively affect immune function and may decrease resistance to infection. They have two categories of uh, vitamins. One we call a fat-soluble fiber, 
And the second one is uh, water soluble fiber. Okay, what fat soluble fibers are stored in the body fatty tissue. This uh, vitamin are absorbed more easy, easily when consumed with a bit of dietary fat. Okay, they have four soluble vitamins is uh, vitamins A, D, E, and K. For the water soluble fiber, it used by the body right away, stored by the body and have the have to be regularly consumed. Any leftover water soluble fiber are excreted in the urine. The vitamin is uh, vitamin C and the vitamin B. Okay. Let's see. For the vitamin A, what is function for the immune system? Can help uh, maintain the medical cell lining of the respiratory and GI gastrointestinal tract to protect against infection. Vitamin A also strengthens the adaptive immune system to help fight invasive uh, viruses and bacteria. Okay, for food sources for the vitamin A, such as uh, potatoes, carrots, kale, egg, bell pepper, and spinach. Okay, this one is vitamin A. For vitamin B, B6. The function is support numerous biochemical reactions that help your body fight infection. The mainly food sources is from the protein, LB, HBB and LBB. For the food sources like uh, chicken, uh, salmon, and then beef, and then for the nuts, pistachio, that's one. Vitamin B6, mostly on uh, is from the protein. Okay. We also have uh, in the vegetables like carrots, uh, tomatoes. Okay. And then vitamin C. Okay. Vitamin C is water soluble fiber. Its function uh, has a wide ranging impact on the immune system, including the activity of T lymphocytes, uh, which recruit and coordinate the body's disease fighting cells. Fetocyte, which engulf and destroy foreign invader. Okay, food sources mostly from the fruits and vegetables. Uh, from the fruits, which uh, more vitamin C is essentially is guava, uh, and then coming by the orange, grapefruit, strawberry, papaya, and then vegetables also have a uh, vitamin C. But it's uh, lesser than the fruits, okay? Like uh, broccoli, kale, uh, spinach, mustard leaf, they have uh, vitamin C. Okay. Next one is vitamin D. Vitamin D, the function of the vitamin D is uh, reg regulates both the innate and adaptive immune system to quickly identify and destroy pathogen that enter the body. Okay, mostly fruit, uh, vitamin D from food sources is also from the protein sources such as salmon, sardines, prawns. Okay, and then we have uh, oyster egg. Okay, but vitamin C also we can get from the sunlight. Okay, because our body creates vitamin D from direct sunlight, sunlight on our skin. If you are not eating this uh, food, you can uh, like one kata, berjemuk uh, into the sunlight and then the body will uh, create the vitamin D itself. Okay. The next one is uh, minerals. Okay, minerals uh, is actually elements on the earth and in the food that our body needs to develop and function normally. The essential minerals that good for health, including calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, chloride, magnesium, iron. This one is type of uh, minerals. It may be uh, when our body needs a small part of these vitamins, but if we get 
lesser than what we needed it may be it can cost uh, it can cost our help to decrease okay okay this one for mineral for zinc okay the function of the zinc for the immune system it develops and activates T lymphocytes okay when taking at the first sight of illness, zinc prevents cold viruses from binding and replicating in the mucous membranes of the nose. Okay, what is uh, food sources for zinc? Actually, zinc uh, have in uh, seafood, uh, lamb, uh, also in the pumpkins, uh, nuts, cashew nuts, in the some of veggies. Okay. Okay. The next one is water. Okay, water is play important role in our health. Okay, because drinking water can prevent dehydration. Dehydration is a condition that can can cause unclear thinking, result in mood changes, cause the body to overheat, and lead to constipation and kidney stones. Okay, and then water helps the body to keep a normal temperature, lubricate and cushion joints protect spinal cord and other sensitive tissue okay water also if you drink a uh, lot of water you can get rid of the wasted waste through urination perspiration and bowel movement okay okay let's see how we want to combine these seven elements okay seven elements Carbohydrate, protein, uh, fat, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and water in, into our plate, into our daily life. Okay. First, okay, how we want to add carbohydrate, protein, vegetable, fruits, water in our plate? Firstly, we need to remember that we have take, we must take three main meals in a day such as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But in uh, one plate, we have, must have seven elements that we discussed before. Okay. Firstly, okay, this one is a uh, food pyramid, uh, food nation food pyramid 2020 that been revised by MOH. Okay. We have set, uh, four level. The first level one is for fiber, and vegetables and vegetables and fruits okay mostly is fiber the second level is more on grains uh, rice noodles okay the third one we have protein and milk and then the last one is uh, the top of uh, the pyramid is uh, fats um, sugar and salt okay we will discuss it uh, yeah Okay, for the level one, vegetables and fruits. Why the vegetable and fruits in uh, the bottom of the pyramid? Okay, for the vegetables, um, actually is uh, recommended to take three serving per day or 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 more. Okay, because vegetables, like we discuss it, uh, vegetables it has uh, fiber inside. So fiber, you can again uh, fighting the uh, infection. Okay, they have uh, several types of vegetables. We have leafy vegetables, beans, starchy vegetables, flower vegetable, and fruits vegetables. Okay, for the example of leafy vegetable, it's like um, mustard, spinach. Okay. And then the beans one is uh, like long bean, uh, fresh beans, okay. And then uh, the flower vegetable is like uh, broccoli, cauliflower, artichoke, and then fruits vegetables it's like eggplant, tomato, pepper, cucumber. Okay, and the the last one is starchy vegetables. Okay, uh, for those who have uh health problems such as uh, diabetes, uh, all the sort of uh, vegetable we can eat, but 
for the starch images you have to you have to uh, in a portion uh, in a portion because the starchy veggies consists of uh, carbohydrate. Uh, if you take more of uh, starchy vegetables, you can get your blood glucose level. Uh, you can uh, your blood glucose can high. Okay. For this one, for example, for one serving of vegetables, okay, half. Half cup of dark green leafy vegetables cook consists of uh, one serving of vegetables. Okay, it's also for, from fruit vegetables like um, eggplant. Half cup is one serving. Okay, and then one cup of ulam raw, raw. Okay, so in example of if you're taking uh, lunch, you can have half cup, half cup like uh, two scoop of vegetables, cooked vegetables, okay? If you have to take more, it's also can, okay? Because it's low in calorie, but we remember that the types of cooking method also uh, have an uh, impact in the calories, okay? The second one is fruits. Okay, fruits. The suggested uh, serving is uh, two serving in a day. Okay, two serving in a day. Which one? Uh, what is uh, the one serving of fruit? For example, we have apple, pear, orange, mango. Uh, one whole apple, uh, the medium one, not the Fuji, not the apple Fuji. Eh? The one whole of an uh, apple orange is consist, uh, one, considered one serving of fruits. Okay. For, so in a day, if you want, you're planning to eat apple or orange, apple and orange, so you can uh, plan your, your meals. Okay. One uh, for lunch, one whole of apple, and then for dinner, one whole of orange. Okay, that's it for fruits. Okay, and then uh, for the uh, fruits like uh, papaya, watermelon, pineapple is one slice. Okay, for the guava is one whole, and then for the banana, uh, bananas like uh, pisang emas is two whole small bananas. Okay, this one uh, is suitable. Is suitable for normal normal people and then all the other people, okay? And then uh, we su suggest to choose fresh fruit instead of canned fruit or dry fruit. Because, uh, for example, like a dry fruit, yeah? like raisin or any any uh, dry fruit that pack is, is actually not good because uh, it pack with sugar. Why is packed with sugar? Because of the drying process, concentrate the sugar inside the fruit. Okay, and then also uh, we we suggest to eat. Uh, we encourage you to eat the fruits uh, raw, not uh, as a fruit juice. Okay, because fruit juice not as advisable because they lo lose their fiber content when the juices are extracted and processed. Okay, and then some of the package uh, juice also contain added flavor and additive, which are harmful to the body. Okay, so uh, we encourage you to eat fresh fruits, okay, rather than dry food or fruit juice. Okay, we go to next one is level two, is which is uh, rice noodles bread. Cereal, grains, and tuber. Okay, this one uh, suggestion uh, serving is three to five serving per day. Okay, how is look like for one serving? Okay, for the cooked rice, one serving is two scoop. Okay, one two scoop of rice. Okay, how about the noodles? The noodles like a yellow meal is one cup. Okay, and then um. Also, like uh, how about we want to eat the breakfast one? 
bread or chapati. Okay, bread, two slices of bread is one serving of uh, rice, uh, one serving of grains. Okay, and then if you want to eat the porridge, is two cup. Okay, two cup of rice porridge. Okay, if you want to having uh, biscuits, is six pieces uh, biscuits. Consider one serving. Okay. We go to level three. Level three is fish, poultry, meats, and legume. Okay, for the poultry, meat, and egg, recommended daily serving is half to two servings. Okay, for the fish, one serving, and then also for the legume, half to two and uh, to one serving legume. Okay, let's see. What is uh Example for one serving of poultry and meat and fish. Okay, for the fish, one serving is like a uh, ikan uh, mackerel, one medium size of mackerel, or uh, is considered one serving. And then ikan tenggiri is two pieces, and then limit is two pieces. Limit is uh, the size is like a matchbox. Okay. And then for the poultry, chicken is uh, one medium size of chicken uh, drumstick. Okay. And then egg, two whole egg is considered one serving. Okay. Uh, for the protein, we encourage you to choose white meats like poultry and fish, which are generally lower in fats than red meat. Okay. The red meat, like a beef, like a lamb, is. Uh, they have a uh, fat inside the meat, okay. And then for the poultry, like a uh, chicken, you have uh, if you want to have lower fat in the uh, in our meals, okay, in the meals, trim the the skin, the visible fat is the skin, uh, and limit consumption of processes meat, okay. And then avoid processes. Uh, and fried food that contain industrial product uh, produce trans fat. Okay, trans fat is like a saturated fat. Okay, and then we can change the way of our cooking. Okay, try the steaming and boiling instead of frying food. Okay, and then for the juice, okay, for some uh, some ethnic that eat. Legumes, uh, okay. This one is an uh, example of one serving. Okay, one cup of chippy consider one serving of protein. Okay, that we need in our daily meals. Okay, and then you can have a uh, two pieces of tempeh, tahu, or takwa. Okay, for the soya bean milk, one and a half glass. Okay, consider one serving of legume. Okay, and uh, num uh, level three milk and dairy product. Okay, um, from the food pyramid, we suggest to eat one to two servings a day. Okay, for example, one serving of dairy. Okay, uh, one glass of milk, or one slice of cheese, or one cup of yogurt. Okay, usually Malaysian we. We let's take uh, the milk, uh, okay? So it's actually encouraged to take the milk because the milk, uh, milk has a calcium that good for our bone health, okay? Okay, select low fat milk or reduced fat uh, version of milk and dairy products because the Full cream is uh, actually more fat, fat contents inside the milk. Okay, and then the last one is level four is fats, oil, salt, and sugar. Okay, this one located on the crest or top of the pyramid that shows that this food should be taken in small amount. Okay, excessive intake of fats, oil, sugar, and salt can contribute to higher risk of chronic disease such as uh, obesity. Diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and cancer. Okay, limit intake of food in high in fats, oil, sugar, 
and salt and minimize the use of fats, oil, sugar and salt in preparation. Okay, how how we we want to limit the intake? Okay, replace butter, ghee, light to healthier fats like soy, sunflower oil or olive oil that the the mufa one, yeah, unsaturated fat. Okay, when we cooking and then um, we suggest not to change the cooking method, not deep fried food, uh, just the fried food. Or you can have having the uh, little uh, oil in the, inside your cooking, okay? And then limit, okay, for the sugar, choose fresh fruit instead of sweet snacks, okay? Uh, sweet snacks such as uh, cookies, cakes, chocolate. Okay. How to reduce the sugar? Uh, you omit this uh, type of uh, food high in sugar such as cookies uh, chocolate okay and then for the salt intake limit salt intake to one teaspoon a day in a day and then when cooking or preparing food use salt sparingly and reduce use of salty sauces and condiments such as soy sauce or fish sauce that Okay, like fish sauce is high in uh, salt. Okay. Okay. This one is distribution of numbers of serving according to food groups based on calorie values. Okay. If you want to take uh, 1,500 kilocalories per day, okay, this is a uh, distribution uh, based on the uh, types of food, okay. For example, cereal and grains. Okay, you have you can have four serving a day, so you can distribute to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, you can have half half serving. Okay, for lunch and dinner, you can have one uh, two, and then one and a half. Okay, and then fruits to serving uh, vegetables, you can add more in your plates. Because it's lesser calorie and then uh, it's good for your to fill up your uh, stomach, okay? And then the protein, like I said, we can have a variety of uh, protein. We can have a meat, meats or poultry on breakfast, fish for lunch, nejo for dinner, okay? We must. Take is not much. Uh, we actually we um, we suggest you to eat variety of fruit uh, foods because in each of food they have different vitamins, different minerals, and then high in uh, calcium, zinc. That one. Okay, if you are taking variety of food, you can have more vitamins, more minerals. Uh, variety of minerals, vitamins in your diet. Okay, and then for the milk and dairy product, we can have one serving. Okay, okay, and then for two thousand kilocalories, it's like this one lah. Okay, six servings, two servings, fruits and veggies is almost the same. Uh, and then for meat, fish and poultry, one serving, one serving. Okay, the difference between one thousand five and two thousand. Is the cereal and grains group okay? Uh, for the uh, it's actually one thousand five me. It's to, suitable for sedentary woman and older adult. Okay, for two thousand is suitable for children, teenagers, moderately active woman and sedentary men. Okay. Any question? Hi, Miss Siti Sarah. Yeah. Can a 
Okay, that's a question. Can a picky eater get the vitamin or nutrition through supplement to boost the immune system? Okay, uh, can a picky eater get the vitamins or nutrition? Okay, um, actually, if the picky eater in a daily life, they eat just uh, one type of food. For example, she likes uh, to eat uh, carrots. For every day, they, she eat the carrots. Every day. So, uh, in the carrots, as we know, we uh, they have uh, vitamin A. Okay, but if the picky eater actually didn't get uh, enough enough nutrition to boost the immune system, because like I said before, we have to eat the variety of food to get all the vitamins and minerals to boost the immune system. Okay. This um, type of uh, picky eater, actually, uh, if you want to fulfill the vitamins and minerals and macronutrients, micronutrients in the diet, they have to eat uh, supplement. Okay. Okay. Next question from Shazliana. Is it becomes tissue if HTM patient takes unsorted after every day, like one teaspoon per day? Okay. Uh, hypertension patient, okay, take unsorted butter every day, like one teaspoon per day. Unsorted butter, okay. As we know, unsorted butter reduce the, they have reduced the salt intake, salt in the butter, but it's not encouraged for the hypertension uh, even though it's unsalted butter it's not encouraged to take every day because uh, like i said butter is uh, unsaturated butter uh, sorry unsaturated fat so it's it's not good if you take uh, daily even in amount one one teaspoon per day okay you can uh, you have to change to change uh, daily, not to take daily the unsalted butter. Is it clear? Okay. Um, Thank you, Miss City Sarah. I believe most most people are working from home now. Do you have any advice for them? Like snack for tea time, what should snack on? Okay. Uh, for snacking, usually you can is actually the amount of snacking is lesser than many meals like breakfast lunch and dinner okay the healthier snacking is uh the easy one is uh, fruits and vegetables you can have fruits uh, like uh, if you want do one don't want to take the fruits uh in the lunch or dinner you can have as a uh, as a snack okay the second one you can have uh, for example you can have sandwich one slice of sandwich you can add in on vegetables more vegetables and then the protein okay for the snacking for sandwich snacking is uh, lighter than the main meals okay okay thank you miss city sarah I think that's all for our section. Thank you so much, Miss Siti Sarah, for your expert opinion. Miss Siti Sarah is a dietitian in Colbert Asia Hospital, Staba. If you are within there at that area, you can always go to see her and she will guide you to any kind of diet plan. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Bye, guys. See you guys soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.